What's that way? Oh, oh. <coughs> no, stay. Five, four, three, two, one. Right, let's go, let's go. Hi, YouTube. It's me, Bethan, again. And today I thought I'd talk to you. Today I thought I'd talk to you about one of my other conditions, known as plagiocephaly. Plagiocephaly is a congenital deformity, which means you're born with it and you, know, you can't get it any other way. Um, plagiocephaly causes flattening to the skull and it makes the head appear to look a lot more flattened than what it perhaps is. There are different forms of plagiocephaly, such as the most common, which is known as positional plagiocephaly. Um, studies have shown that this form of plagiocephaly affects around half of all babies under one year old. However, this can occur at different degrees and severity. In minor forms, it can cure itself. Plagiocephaly, I don't know why I just said it like that. <laughs> anyway, in any form and degree can affect any race gender equally. Can't read today, oh dear. <laughs> um, but however, but however, it does seem more likely that it will affect babies who are born premature, like myself, that's always good, isn't it? Um, rather than full-term babies. This is believed to be due to the skull plates becoming stronger during the last few weeks of the pregnancy. So if you're born premature, then you miss out on that. But hey, something good, isn't it? Um, <laughs> and the skull can also appear to be in the shape of parallel parallelogram, don't ask me what one of them is because I ain't got a clue, <laughs> I'm really dumb when it comes to maths and anything that, yeah, no, just don't do maths. <laughs> um, positional plagiocephaly can be caused by a build up, is it a built up or a build up, right anyway so, positional plagiocephaly can be caused by a build up of pressure on the outside of the skull this can occur while the baby is developing inside its mother's womb or tummy, whichever you want to call it. Um, but the flattening, uh, the flattening, should I say, of the skull is more commonly, more more commonly happens after birth. This is due to the skull being made up of many different plates, which are made up of bones. And when we are born, these plates at first are not very tightly connected together. It is only as we get older that these plates tightly connect together, stopping the skull from moving into any other shape or position, and um, which can happen whilst we are young. That's why you've just been born. I just said that, but anyway, and as these plates are quite soft, oh, I get it. While we are young, these plates are quite soft, and so this results in the skull being prone to altering its shape and position with any amount of pressure put it on oh, put onto it. This is what this is what causes the flattening in the back of a baby's head. Although plagiocephaly can be referred to craniosystitis, I think I said it right, I think I did, I think I did. Which is a condition where the skull plates don't fuse early enough. It's kind of the same, although plagiocephaly will not require any surgery, whereas craniosystitis will I never say that word. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, the main cause of the pressure that is put onto the baby's head is the sleeping, their sleeping position. I don't know why I'm talking in a weird accent every so often, but never mind. <laughs> um, however, it is believed that by making the baby sleep on their back, it will help to reduce the risk of sudden, inf sudden infant death, which can, oh. which can also be known as cot death. As uh, this is one of the risks that comes with plagiocephaly. Um, also due to young babies spending a lot of their time either being carried around or in their car seats. Um, these are the times when the skull plates are then more prone to being softened and easily moulded moulded um, into various shapes and forms. Also the mattress which they sleep on are a lot firmer, firmer, firmer than they used to be. So this also has increased numbers of babies diagnosed with plagiocephaly. Doctors believe that, that it is always best for the baby to be sleeping on their back, um, as it's believed to, believed to reduce SIDS. Also, by 
something for death tattoos, I think. Um, also by lying on their back in flat positions. Um, they've been known to spread the shape of the head evenly. There is in fact no signs of plagiocephaly as the condition is usually diagnosed from a physical examination. Um, the first time the plagiocephaly will become visible is, will be roughly when the baby is two to three months old. Um, it will be visible from the, in the form of the flattening. Um, at birth the head will uh, have no known flattening to it. Although plagiocephaly can have some key features to it, but these will not be noticed until after the diagnosis of the condition. Or once the condition is underway, these can include... Dun, 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 what we got? What we got? The parallelogram... Pa I can't say this word. Parallelogram shaped head from viewing above. So if you're looking from this way. Um, flattening in on the back of the head. Um, the eyes appearing to be unequally unequally spaced, bald patch, a bald patch on the flattened part of the head. Um, it is always key to have your child x-rayed to identify which type of plagiocephaly your child has as there are many different varieties and forms. Um, there are also additional risks with the condition of plagiocephaly. These risks can include torticolis, please tell me I've said that right, I've never said all these conditions and things like that. So. I did that time, um, which is when the skull is put under pressure and is forced or constantly in the same position for too long. Um, this can also be caused by the muscles on the back of the skull going into a spasm. Another risk of plagiocephaly can come from multiple pregnancy. Pregnancy, I can't read off talk today. Let's get start. It's only what, 9.52 in the morning and I can't talk. Yay. Today's going to be a good day. <laughs> um, so yeah, play, another risk of plagiocephaly can come from a multiple pregnancy. So for example, tr uh, twins or triplets, that sort of thing. Um, when the mum is carrying more than one child at a time, uh, the babies you know, become squashed up together. Um, also, this can be the result in a multiple pregnancy, I've just said that. Oh, because if there's not enough fluid for both of the babies, or all the babies, depending on how many the mum's carrying, um, be protected this is known as oh god I'm never gonna say this this is known as oligohaminios do I put the word on the screen <laughs> oligo oligo oh oligohydraminus don't know correct me if I'm wrong <laughs> I'm definitely wrong on that one and um, another risk that can occur is sudden infant death which is also known as cot death the first treatment is actually noticing that the flattening of the head. As the soon as you notice it, the quicker and higher the chances are of improving it. Belly time. This is a form of treatment, which means you, that you allow your baby to spend as much time on their belly as possible during the day. Although this does not mean so they should sleep on their belly; they still need to sleep on their backs. Um, spending time on their bellies help actually helps to reduce worsening of the plagiocephaly as no pressure is being put onto the head. It's also a natural way of helping to allow the head to heal and to correct itself without any, interve in any intervention, which is always a bonus. Um, patterns of sleeping. Helping your baby to adjust just to sleeping at certain points within the day when putting them down for sleep. Try to distract them, whether it be with toys, mobiles, anything to get, not, you know, mobile phones, the hanging mobiles. Um, and get them to look in the opposite way to where the plagiocephaly is. So this could also include rolled up towels. This will help to relieve the pressure on the head. And you may also benefit from checking their position in the head when they're in their car seat, pram, buggy, push chair, that sort of thing. Physiotherapy. For some babies, turning their heads can be an issue or cause problems when doing, when doing so. So physiotherapy can be extremely helpful in this scenario. Uh, this will help to get your baby turning their heads correctly and ease it into a natural turning position which will help with the natural healing process of the flattening. This also helps to unlock the spasms and um, if the plagiocephaly is caused by them, obviously, helmets and bands. Although this is viewed to be a controversial treatment, if none of the above treatments are working 
or have proved to be successful in your case um, with helping your baby or babies. Head position, it is debated. It is debated. <sighs> I've lost where I am. I don't know what I'm talking about. Dun, 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 dun. Don't know what I'm going on about. Oh, proved successful in helping your baby's head position. No, I just said that bit. Oh, it is debated what exactly the helmet does. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, it's debated what the helmet actually does other than being on the child's head for seven months or um, for 23 out of 24 hours. So it's on for quite a long time. It's only on for, you know, it's only off for one hour in the day. Um, however, if this form of treatment, however, if this is the form of treatment you wish to use, and she is best to start using this while the head is still very soft and plastic like. I'm not saying your baby's head is made of plastic or anything like that, but um, it will help to encourage the flatter part of the head to grow normally and catch up with the rest of the head. Surgery is only a treatment option if it is found that the baby's skull has fused too early on. Um, this procedure will undo the fused skull and the surgeon will move back into the correct position and realign it and um, for those with the positional positional plagiocephaly the natural the, na the natural shaping of the head will complete will be completely normal as it's only the molding which has pushed the head out of shape meaning as soon as the molding has stopped the head will be able to grow and develop as normal things as normal I should say not as normal things um, Things will also get easier as the baby gets older and is able to sleep in a variation of positions as this will encourage a more natural growth um, as not much pressure will then be put onto the baby's head as it can change position during the night. Usually in mild, form, mild forms it will have sorted itself out by the time the child is born. In more severe cases though, however it has been, it has been proven that um, they also, given time, will correct themselves, and that will take longer than a year of age to completely disappear. Um, it can take additional years to disappear, and most commonly there will be, you know, there will still be a slight percentage of flattening, but this is very unusual to be noticeable or picked up on by other children in the playground. So, yeah, you haven't like got to worry about being bullied or picked on or anything. Um, and it's only the family of the baby that will notice it. This even there. Um, you will also be pleased to know that positional plagiocephaly does not have any effects on the brain, nor does it cause any brain abnormalities or the development of the brain. Um, so yeah, I hope you learned something new today and that you like this video. If you do, feel free to like, subscribe, leave me a comment to let me know that you liked it. And I'll see you again very soon. Bye!